Hello everyone, Future Avery here. As you can tell, I forgot to record the audio on this video, so I have to do a voiceover. Worse yet, it's been over a year since I actually made one of these videos, so this is taking place one year and more after we edited this. So I'm going to be going through all of these clips I edited together and kind of going over what we did even though I have no recollection at all. So let's just go through this. Looks like I'm having some fun uh, using a fishing rod. Looks like we're getting saddles. This was back when we were trying to get saddles for horses so we can travel easier. We have a little visit to our chicken cave. And I think I'm going to get some mushrooms here. Yeah, getting some mushrooms. Forgot exactly why we were doing that. Oh, we're expanding our farm. Got it. So we're expanding our wheat farm, adding a little mushroom thing, or just collecting mushrooms in general. I think our overall goal was to try and get some horses to breed them. Looks like we've got some donkeys here. Probably so we can get some mules as well. Um, yeah, looks like I'm just doing some montages of us collecting the horses. I know our goal for this video is to build one of the stables. So we have in mind two stables that are going to go over here. But we're actually going to be comparing our horses, it looks like. We're trying to see which one's faster and which one's slower. His is for sure faster, look at that. Oh man, and this is back when we were using golden apples to breed them. I forgot about that. We learned better later. You'll see it, hopefully, if I didn't forget to voice that, voice that over. Got ourselves a nice mule. Ah, yes, we can put, uh, we could put chests inside the mules and donkeys. I think the thought process here was we can go on longer journeys and collect a bunch more stuff. <laughs> here we are testing the, oh God, oh no. Forgot about that. <laughs> Well, here we are testing the jump heights of the horses. Looks like we're getting rid of the ones that uh, don't meet our standards. I also want to mention that, as you can tell, my voice is a lot better because I got a new microphone many, many, many sessions down the line. Maybe not that many. I don't actually remember when I got this thing, but uh, look forward to that once, I, once we have live, record, live being when we recorded the videos themselves, live recordings of... A better sounding me versus the terrible microphone quality that I had for such a such a long time. Oh, and look at these. These are cool little barrels that we discovered. They open along the side, which is pretty neat. Made a diamond axe. Nice. We're still working on getting our, our diamond tools together. Enchantment table. I think we're trying to enchant fishing rods in order to give us better um, luck of the sea or something like that so we can get more, more saddles. Oh, okay, we're enchanting an axe. Unbreaking three, efficiency four, that's not bad. More horse racing. What's funny is um, it just didn't record the audio for my voice. So we do have Daniel saying some random things here. I don't know if I'm going to leave that in quite yet, so it would be a little odd to hear, hear him speak occasionally, responding to nothing, so I'm probably just going to mute it, and then you guys are going to have to listen to me voice over. So yeah, we recorded this thing back in March of 2022, and currently, as I'm recording this voiceover, it is August 12th, 2023, so... Yeah, we've been playing quite a lot. Um, we have a lot of updates to this entire world that we've been working on. Got some life updates as well. Oh, and here we go. So here we are building our horse stables. What we decided to do with that is find a good one online. Um, I think we used a couple builds in total from this lady. This was the first of maybe two that we used. But the stables are really, really nice, so we decided to follow her tutorial. I made my own over here, and at the same time, Daniel made another one on the other side. 
This is so we can store our horses, so whenever we want to leave somewhere, we can just exit our house, come straight down here, and then grab our horses. And it looks like I had to do some fancy editing here, fancy being fast forwarding. I took a very long time to edit all of the other videos, so uh, I'm going to have to do that now, a year later. I have maybe 40-something different sessions, sessions being like when we sat down and played and I record, recorded during that time, so we have maybe 40-something more. I'm going to try editing them a lot better than I did um, in the past, so... We're not going to have, because this is going to be, what, the 40th episode of Minecraft that I have on this channel? And that's only through eight sessions or something. This is going to be session number seven, I think. So I'm going to try and edit down each session into its own video so that you don't have to sit here and watch hundreds of parts in order to get through everything. So hopefully that turns out well. At the very least, it'll, it'll save a lot of time. Plus, in these earlier videos, earlier play sessions, I recorded everything that we did, which took up a ton of space, a lot of video footage, and just wasted a lot of time. So, in the future, I forgot which session we started it on, but I decided to just record the important bits, either where we're having a conversation or um, updates on a project or plans for the day, that kind of stuff. So it should be a lot easier to edit those, but for a while I'm going to have to edit hours and hours of footage, which is my bad because I didn't have any kind of fore foresight. But here we are just continuing to edit the, um, not edit the, uh, what am I talking about? Build this stable. I'm trying to do this voiceover in one take so it's not too difficult to edit. So if I make mistakes, so be it. This is such a neat build. I Unfortunately, I don't remember at all what we were talking about. Because, again, it, it was a year ago. So, unfortunately, we've lost some stories. And then there are a few more sessions where I filmed and I forgot to check if my, my mic was working. So there's going to be a few more of these voiceovers coming soon. It's kind of hard to watch doing all of this super fast speed running. Looks like we're almost done with the stables, though. We still have our farm down there. Looks like our house is here. This was very early on in our play sessions, which is crazy. Crazy to look at. We've got some cool projects coming up, I know about that. I thought this was such a cool way to use, um, what are those called, the fire, fireplaces? Not fireplaces, campfires. Such a cool way to use these campfires, because in the video, the lady uses these campfires as uh, decoration. You just put out the fire first, and before it looked like I was struggling trying to put it out, it seems like you can just place the water bucket on it. Now we just got to work on the inside of this. I was kind of having a little race with Daniel on the other side, so we were trying to see who, who um, finished the thing first. I know I started first, so that gave me a little bit of a head start, but uh, he's really fast at building, so it was basically me trying to, trying to stay ahead of him. What am I doing there? I'm just sitting. Did I break a shovel? Jeez. Okay, so we're still working with iron tools in this day and age. Man, that's terrible. Hopefully we upgrade that soon. 
don't actually remember. I should probably stop saying that because I'm not going to remember any of this stuff having it having it be what a year ago. So it's just going to be a surprise for me just as much as it's a surprise for you guys. I hope the next episode I actually have my proper voiceovers. It's going to be a bit strange going from future Avery to past Avery, especially with the quality of the microphone, but uh might be mildly entertaining. Looks like I'm a, I'm about done. Just gotta add some chests, I think, up top. What's nice about the build videos on YouTube is they give you the, the supply list first so that you can just collect all the supplies you need and then you just build it versus what we do um, with every other kind of build, which is just figure out what the heck we're doing and then hope we have enough stuff. Oh my god. This is a lot of farming. It's even worse that it's sped up so much. Looks like I'm harvesting wheat. What did we need the wheat for? I guess the seeds so we can breed our chickens. Wow. Yeah, it's a very, very successful farm here. Oh my goodness, this is very difficult to watch. I am so sorry for editing it this way. I'll work on editing a lot better in the future. I should probably have just cut all of this out. Why did I speed through it? Oh, maybe Daniel's giving a story. No, but then that would be sped up as well. So I guess I just made a dumb decision. We're almost done replanting the seeds though, so hopefully we get on to more interesting things. Oh, I needed the um I needed the hay or the wheat to make hay bales. Cuz I'm pretty sure we needed hay bale decorations in there. So that's probably why I'm going through all this. And there we go, all planted. Creating hay bales, exactly, got it. 41, is that gonna be enough? No idea. Why are we hopping around? Maybe we're talking or something. But look at that, the stables look pretty darn good. Or we're being attacked by the phantoms. Those things are annoying. Okay, decorations, decorations. When's it going to go back to normal speed? I think in this time period I'm still trying to figure out how all the block placement works because things are a little different than when when we last played years ago oh and there's our giant map wall lanterns I really like those blocks such a great alternative light source Okay, now we're working on external decorations with bushes, flowers, and hay bales. It looks like I'm trying to copy the, the video exactly. <laughs> oh, wow. He made a really fancy pick. Spider pick. So it does look like we're improving our, our tool assortment. Got some good enchantments. Diamond equipment. What am I doing just sitting here? I really got to cut out all those moments where I do nothing. Oh, and we updated the map, it looks like.
Okay, I think I'm finishing off Daniel's build here, working on the inside and the outside. I think. Yeah, it must be. Work on the outside. Am I looking at the video again? It's really not that important. Why am I focusing so much on getting it right? Oh, we got to put some podzil in there. All these minor adjustments. We're pretty much done. Item frames. Fish? We're eating fish? Oh my goodness. Oh, we're creating kind of a pathway here. A little road. Looks kind of nice. I think we're checking the light levels to make sure that uh, it's bright enough, which I don't think it is. Which means we have to come up with with ways to make a lamppost or something. This was me just throwing out a random design. I don't think it worked out very well. So we just added those two lanterns on the side and that should be enough. You know, I kind of like having the having the lamp post there. Maybe we'll put one there in the future because I don't think we actually do have one there. Oh, okay, wow, we're back to normal speed. And here we are, I'm making um, a set of diamond armor. Exciting. We're finally upgrading our equipment in the same video. Depth Strider, we're testing out Depth Strider. And look at that, you walk so much faster. I think it affects swimming as well, so we must test that out. And here we go, swim speed. This is without sprinting or doing the proper swim. It's about the same speed it looks like. Swimming speed is faster. <laughs> I'm just putting it on the armor, sta armor stand so I can look at it, I think. Oh my god. And here we are destroying a bunch of eggs. So satisfying. Got our trash can here. Our massive chicken farm. Looks like I've got a super fishing rod, too. Old Faithful. And then we spend some time fishing, probably, to get some more saddles. And here we are coming up with an idea for uh, what we want to do with this middle section. So I, what I believe we're talking about is opening up the area underneath the bridge, making, making it larger, maybe put a waterfall there. And then right in between where I'm standing here, we're going to put a bridge. So I think I must be going to the other side to, to give you guys a better look. Oh, right. And we made this road. So I think this was Daniel's um, design for the road. And here I am pointing out what we're going to do with the farm. Our plan is to expand it to be pretty darn large. And we're going to make a road, a main road, going through our island, connecting the major, major interest points. So this was the start of the design. And then, as you can see, we, we have more of the design between the, the, the two stables that we just made. And then over here, we have an idea of continuing the main road between these two hills. So we're going to have a little bridge uh, closing the gap and then everything in between in the little valley where all the, the farm animals are 
We're going to have maybe some kind of garden, maybe like a Japanese garden style thing. Something that's relaxing with lots of flowers, maybe lots of running water, some lake stuff, some cool plants. That's the idea with that. So in order to do that, we have to move all of the animals. And I think I'm running over here to put down a sign because the signs help a lot with remembering what ideas. Massive waterfall make into, okay, what am I typing here? Massive waterfall behind fall, okay. Ma okay, so we have a massive waterfall and behind the waterfall, we have a cave. A cave into the basement. So the idea here is to have a waterfall in this gap area, and then behind the waterfall is a secret entrance, and that cave leads to the basement of our house. So that's the idea there. And then the other sign was the bridge. I don't know if I show you guys that, but I should. I've ran past it a lot. But yeah, we have a fishing rod, so we can continue to go fishing and get some, some more saddles, because we need a bunch of those. We're going to expand the farm area, we're going to move all of the animals, and we now have an idea for a little garden, a bridge, a main road, a hidden cave behind a waterfall. And then, I think I'm discussing where we're going to put the animals, and I was thinking maybe in that gap. So the main road's gonna go through. Yeah, we must be coming coming across the end of the video. Kind of feels like I'm recording this as sort of a, a end cap, but we'll see. I think I pretty much covered everything that this video has to offer and everything that I was thinking during that time. So I'm not entirely sure what else would be here. Oh, I have a little path here that I plotted to go from the house down into the garden area that we're going to make. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what the heck I'm saying during this. I feel like I've covered everything. Okay, we're going to create the main road all the way through here. It looks like I path, pathed it out with all of these um, plotted grass. So the main road's going to go from the top of the bridge. It's going to connect to our house, and then it's come a, going to come down along this hill. And it's going to come along the side. We're going to expand the main road all the way through here. And probably connect some kind of path going up to the other side of our house. Maybe not the main road, but a side road. Connect it to the main uh, path here that came naturally with the village. And then the main road will for sure be coming down here. We're going to make a bridge over this water and go to the, uh, the wood farm, the tree farm. So that's the plan for the next video, probably, is to make that path. I believe I do have a voiceover now that I think about it, so... We're going to go back to past Avery, but I hope you guys enjoyed the sort of future look and didn't get too sick from all the sped up video footage. So yeah, look forward to all the future videos that we're going to make. And yeah, just know that you have a lot of stuff coming. We have tons and tons of projects. And hopefully it'll be a lot better edited as well. So. Thank you to everyone who's watched this so far and look forward to all of that stuff.